channel Quick Math. I am Sirisha. Today's session is going to be on the topic Equivalent Fractions. In this session, you are going to learn what are equivalent fractions, obtaining equivalent fractions of a given fraction and check whether the given fractions or equivalent fractions or not. So, let's get into the video. If you observe, here we have squares. These are all of the same size. But, these are divided into different number of parts. So, let's start writing the fractions of these squares. If you observe the first square, the first square is divided into half of the whole part. That means if you observe the shaded region of the first square is half part of the square. Next, let us see the shaded region of the second square. If you observe here, two parts are shaded. So, two and the whole parts are 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 by 4. Next, let us see the fraction of the next square. That is, 3 parts are shaded. 3 parts are shaded in the color green. So, I am taking 3 by and let us see the whole parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 6. Next, let us see the fractions of the fourth square. Here, the four parts are shaded. So, write four upon. So, how many parts total we have? Let us see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we observe, the fractions of the first square is one upon two. And the second square is two upon four. And the third square is three upon six. And the fourth square is four upon eight. If we observe, these all represents half part of the whole. These all represents, that means the 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6 and 4 by 8. These all represents half part of the whole. The fractions that show the same part of the whole are called equivalent fractions. If we observe here 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6 and 4 by 8 are called equivalent fractions because these all are showing the same part of the whole. And what is that part? Half part of the whole. Now we are going to see if Two fractions are given and we have to check whether the given fractions are equivalent fractions or not. For that, if the products are same by doing the cross multiplication of the fractions, then we say that the two fractions are equivalent fractions. Now, to give the clear idea about the equivalent fractions, let's go through an example. So here I am taking 1 by 2 and 4 by 8. So here I have used two fractions that is 1 by 2 and 4 by 8. Now we have to check whether these two fractions are equivalent fractions. Now what we do? Simply take the fractions 1 by 2 and 4 by 8. And do the cross multiplication of these fractions. So first if I do the cross multiplication. 8 into 1. 8 into 1 gives 8. Now the next one that is 2 and 4. If I take the product of 2 and 4. The result is 8. If we observe the product of this 2 or same. Then we can say that the fractions 1 by 2 and 4 by 8 are equivalent fractions. 
So here not we have not done any cancellation. Just by doing the cross multiplication we can say the given fractions or equivalent fractions or not. Let us go through with one more example. So here I am taking 1 by 9 and 6 by 5. I have to check whether these two fractions are equivalent fractions or not. What we have to do? First take the fractions. So I am writing the fractions 1 by 9 and 6 by 5. Next we have to do the cross multiplication of these two fractions. So let us take the cross multiplication 1 into 5. 1 into 5 gives 5. Now we have to take the Next cross multiplication that is 9 into 6. 9 into 6 gives 9, 6, 54. If we observe the product when we have taken the cross multiplication, these two are not same. So the fractions 1 by 9 and 6 by 5 are not equivalent fractions. In this way you can find whether the given fractions are equivalent fractions or not by doing the cross multiplication method. Up to now we have seen how to check whether the given fractions are equivalent fractions or not. Now we are going to see how to obtain an equivalent fractions of the given fractions. Let's see now. In order to get the equivalent fractions of a given fraction, we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Let's see with an example. So here I am taking 3 by 4. So this is the required fraction. I have to find the equivalent fractions of 3 by 4. What we have to do? Take the fraction 3 by 4 and we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So first I am taking this 3 by 4 and I am multiplying the numerator by 2 and the same number should be multiplied in the denominator. So 4 by 2. 3 multiplied by 2 and 4 multiplied by 2. Next. So 3 2's gives 6 upon 4 2's 8. 6 by 8 is one of the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4. We can also find required number of equivalent fractions by using this method. Now I want to find two more equivalent fractions. Let's see how to find this. So here I am taking the same fraction that is 3 upon 4. And now I am multiplying the numerator and denominator by 3. So if I multiply this by 3, we are going to get 3 multiplied by 3 gives 9 upon 4 3 is 12. This is also one of the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4. In this way we can find the equivalent fractions of a given fraction. If you want, you can find the required number of equivalent fractions according to your requirement. So here, let us see the question. Find three equivalent fractions of the fraction 2 upon 3. Now how many equivalent fractions we have to find? We have to find three equivalent fractions. For which fraction? 2 by 3. Let's start finding the three equivalent fractions of 2 by 3. So 2 upon 3 or 2 by 3. But mostly we have to use it as upon 2 upon 3. So 2 upon 3. Now I have to find three more equivalent fractions of 2 upon 3. Let's start finding it. So the first step is we have to multiply the same number by the numerator and the denominator. Here I am using 2 in order to get the equivalent fraction of 2 by 3. So multiply it by 2. 2 multiplied by 2 upon 3 multiplied by 2. 2 multiplied by 2 gives 4 upon 3 multiplied by 2 gives 6. 
So we have find one of the equivalent fraction of 2 by 3. But in the equation we have to find 3 equivalent fractions. Let us see the remaining 2 equivalent fractions. Next, I am taking the same fraction that is 2 by 3 and I am multiplying it by 3. By 3. So 2 multiplied by 3 gives 6 and upon 3 multiplied by 3 gives 9. So here we have find two equivalent fractions. Still we have to find one more equivalent fraction. Let us see. Now take the same fraction and multiply with the next number. So here I have used 2, 3 and the next one is 4. Now 2 multiplied by 4 gives 8 and 3 multiplied by 4 gives 12. In this way you can find the required number of equivalent fractions of a given fraction. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed today's session. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and show your love towards our channel. Stay tuned for the channel for more interesting and easy content. If you have any further queries, leave me a comment. I will get back to you.